guys welcome back to my channel it's debbie in the building as always if you are new to my channel you are highly welcome and if you're my old returning subscriber you are highly welcome if you are new to my channel please don't forget to hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell so you get notified anytime i upload new video yeah so guys in today's video i'll be showing you how i prepare my beans in 30 minutes yes i mean 30 minutes yeah you all know that beans takes forever to cook yeah especially the ones we buy here in um, europe yeah i know naturally beans takes forever to cook but back then in Nigeria, I noticed that the ones I buy there um, takes long, but not as long as the one we buy here. So I don't really know the cost. Maybe it's because of um, the process it passed through, you know, <laughs> or the preservative they use in preserving it. I can't just tell. Whatever. But today I'll be showing you how I make my beans under 30 minutes with my pressure cooker. Yeah with my pressure cooker and also show you how my pressure cooker works here yeah. pressure cooker is one important thing you need as in if you want to cook your food sharp sharp mm, you need pressure cooker yeah so guys stay tuned and watch to the end if you want to see how i usually prepare my beans under 30 minutes watch all right all right all right Okay, okay, okay. So this I'll be cooking now. This is brown beans. Yeah, I usually use um the black eye beans, but I'll be using brown beans this time around because that is what I have. We got it from an Asian shop, so this is what it looks like. So I'll start by washing it immediately. I'll first of all wash it and then put it in my pressure cooker. You see all the dirt are up. I'll just quickly pick it up pick out the dirt and wash it i usually soak my beans before i bought my pressure cooker i usually soak it overnight before cooking but since i got a pressure cooker there is no need soaking it overnight because if you still soak it it will still cook at the same time that's 30 minutes under 30 minutes so um since then i stopped soaking it overnight i'm done picking it and this is the second time I'm washing it for the second time. So this is the third time I'm washing it. I will quickly go ahead and put it inside my pressure cooker. Let me show you guys what my pressure cooker looks like. So guys, this is what my pressure cooker looks like. You see? I'll just go ahead and put in my beans. I'll be cooking the beans without covering it because I still need to take out the first water you know i'll go ahead and pour the beans inside the pot <laughs> guys please ignore the background noise so it's my son he's just here holding me disturbing me this boy eh, he's just gone body eh? he doesn't want to allow me to rest so guys i'll be cooking it now but i'll not be covering the pot because I'm not cooking it properly yet. I will only just cook it um, a little bit. Just allow it to boil a little bit and then drain out the water. You get it? As you can see, I've placed it on the fire. Because it's a pressure pot, I'm not going to cover it up because I still need to drain out the water. The brown water that comes out from the beans once it boils. Yeah, it's very, very important to drain out the water. That brown water <laughs> that comes out. You know then wash it and start cooking properly well, that is exactly what i'm going to do once the water boils once it boils now i will quickly drain out the water wash it and then start cooking properly that is when i'll finally cover it up it's boiling now guys can you see that so i'll go ahead and drain out the water See the what I'm talking about? Can you see? <laughs> I 
This is the second time. After washing it this time, I will then put it in the pot and start cooking. You see how it is looking now. See how neat it is looking now. So I'll go ahead and put it in the pot and then start cooking. So I'll go ahead and add my onion. I'll just be using onion and salt to cook it. Yeah. You might be wondering why I'm cooking this amount. Yeah. What I usually do is, after cooking it, I'll just scoop out the one we'll eat now and then put others in the freezer. Whenever I want to cook it, I'll still bring it out from the freezer and then use oil and every other thing, crayfish and the rest of them and, and, and mix out the ones we will eat at that moment. That is how I usually um, do it because my pressure, pressure pot is very big. So I usually make large quantity and then store it in my freezer. So that is how I makes life easier. That is, it makes life easier that way for me instead of always cooking beans every time. So I just scoop out the ones who eat at any time, either for dinner or lunch. Just scoop it out, mix it with oil and crayfish and all that, and then food is ready. I just pour water that will cover the beans properly. Can you see? This amount is okay. You put it. You see? Once it enters this way, you then push it down. Yeah. I've covered it. Can you see that? This is the knot here. Yeah? Once it starts boiling, this knot here will go up and enter inside this hole. That is to show you that it has started boiling and then it will start making sound. Don't worry guys, once it starts boiling, I will show you guys and then explain better. So I'll just go ahead and place it on the... What I'm talking about? <laughs> so guys, can you see that? See that knot is up. Eh? And can you hear the sound? That shows that it has pressurized. Yeah. So right now, it's cooking so i'm just going to give it some um, extra 15 minutes in 15 minutes time i'll be turning off the gas then allow it to cool down once it cools down this knot will still come down then i will then open it up that means it has cooked okay i'll be back in the next 15 minutes another thing i want to say is this. if you don't like your beans and um, very soft you can as well turn off your gas once it pressurizes but i like my beans very very soft so that's why i'm going to give it additional 15 minutes it's like it, it will still be soft but i like my beans very very soft so i'm going to leave it for an additional 15 minutes it's not turning it off this is after 15 minutes so i'll go ahead and turn off the heat I've turned off, off the gas. I just turned off the gas. So I have to wait for it to cool down. Once it cools down, this knot will come down. You will see that this knot that is up here will come down. Let me show you guys. You see? Guys, can you see? The knot has entered inside. That is, the show, that is to show that it has come down. So let me quickly open it and show you guys how soft these beans is you see can you see that see how soft the beans is oh my goodness it's too hot i don't know if you guys can see it the beans has cooked so well.
So what I'll do, I'll quickly scoop out the one that we are going to eat this night. I'll scoop it inside this pot. I'll be adding yam. So my yam is already on the fire. So what I'll do now is to scoop the beans and then mix in the yam and then prepare my sauce and mix everything together. Then the remaining beans, I'll put it in a plastic frame and store it in my freezer. Anytime I want to prepare beans again, I'll just bring it out, prepare my sauce and mix it with the sauce. That is how I usually prepare my beans. So guys, this is the one that will be entering inside my freezer. As you can see, I left a little water in it so that when next I'm cooking it, I'll just use the water and cook it. I didn't drain out the water because I'll still use the water and mix it with whatever, either plantain or yam or potato, whenever I'm cooking it next time. Once it cools now, I'll cover it up and put it in the freezer. This is the portion we are having this night. I just mixed up my already cooked beans and yam with red oil, pepper, onion, crayfish, and my seasoning cube. Sorry I couldn't carry you all along because it's already late and dinner has to be ready. So that is all for this video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate you all. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to share. Bye and see you all in my next video.